We are the Roberts. This is my wife, Sally. I am Matt. Our daughter, Vivian, has spinal muscular atrophy. She received gene therapy at 13 days old. Everything seemed like it was a pretty normal childbirth when she was first born. Um, had no clue. I think also being first time parents, there we didn't know what to look for, what to see, what, what does a normal baby look like. We didn't know anything until we got the call from the doctors about the newborn screening. And the first thing that we had to do was get Vivian to the hospital to do follow-up um, blood test results to confirm that she had this diagnosis. So that's what we did. I mean, we, we didn't even have a chance to process anything. When I was talking to Jess, the nurse coordinator on the phone about Vivian's newborn screen results, she briefly told me what SMA was, um, and she did warn me. She said, don't look it up online because a lot of the things that are on the internet are very outdated. There is a lot more research now that just hasn't been published and there is actually treatment for this. So we had the option of doing the intrathecal treatment or to do the gene therapy. When we met with Dr. Rogers, her neurologist, um, to discuss in more detail about the gene therapy, um, I remember asking her, is she going to be a vegetable? Like, truly, I thought that she would have no quality of life. And Dr. Rogers assured me that with gene therapy, children were not only surviving, but they were thriving. And so it really gave me some hope. We started to think, hey, it may not be like this. Vivian may be able to do these things that normal kids can do. The tricky thing about gene therapy is they use a virus in order to incorporate this gene that's going to replace her faulty gene, um, but she cannot have been exposed to that virus before. And sometimes they can be exposed through the mother in utero. So we had to do testing to see if she had been exposed to this virus. And once we found out that she had not been exposed, we knew that that was the route that we wanted to take. The issue is the timing. Every day, every hour, every minute that passes, once you know that they have spinal muscular atrophy, they are deteriorating. So once we knew that she had not been exposed to that virus and we wanted to move forward um, with the gene therapy, it was a matter of trying to get it approved with insurance. And that can be really tricky because it's a very expensive um, drug. At the time, it was the world's most expensive one-time drug. So it's a matter of the hospital fighting with insurance to come to an agreement of what they're willing to pay. And a lot of times with kids, this can take weeks. Honestly, we're just really fortunate that we knew people in the right places and we were able to get her treatment approved. And she was actually given the gene therapy at 13 days old, which at the time was one of the earliest that's ever happened. During the infusion, um, it was a very happy time for us as we sat there and thought about what is this infusion going to provide for Vivian, for what outlook does it provide for her life, how does it better her life, and those m thoughts of joy just overwhelmed us during that time. After her treatment, we had to come home and isolate. Um, part of the reason being is in order for her to get her treatment, we had to wipe out her immune system completely with steroids. It, it was a rough 90 days of isolation. So after Vivian received her gene therapy, she was followed closely by her team of doctors that we met with every three months. And they would um, track things um, such as muscle tone and they would see what type of therapy she would need. As far as Vivian's milestones, Everything she did was very delayed in time frame. Um, months after the typical for raising your head, sitting, crawling, um, and the only one she actually met was walking, which she walked before she crawled. So she had a physical therapist that she would meet with and um, she would end up doing physical therapy once a week and she does occupational therapy once a week currently. She's doing incredible like this girl, you can't tell her that she can't do something. Um, currently, we have her doing some intensive physical therapy sessions um, outside of Nashville, and we do that typically twice a year for about a week, and they just really work on the things that she struggles with, um, 
like such as balance. Um, she just doesn't have a lot of muscle strength, obviously, so things that normal kids can do are just a lot harder for her. We met another family with a little girl who's now four years old that has SMA. In the days that I was just, you know, down in the dumps, I would text her and she would reassure me. She said, you know, everything's gonna be fine, I promise you. She's like, I know it's hard to see that now we're in, you're in the thick of it, but it, it's, your little girl is perfect and she's gonna do everything she ever dreams of. She loves to say, mommy, watch me run. And it's not a true run, but she gets those arms going and she gets a little bit faster in her walk and she's so proud of herself. And I never thought that I would hear her say, mommy, watch me run. I, I try not to get caught up on the fact that, you know, there's not a lot of data that shows how long these kids will live, but I'm just thinking with, you know, as technology advances, that there will be something else available to her. I think with the progress from gene therapy for Vivian, our hopes for her in the future is for her to live more of a normal lifestyle that other kids get to live. The things that Vivian is able to do because of her treatment is astonishing. She just doesn't even know that she has spinal muscular atrophy, which is something I talk about. I'm like, Matt, when are we going to have to tell her? When are we, <laughs> we going to have to tell her that she has this? Or do we even tell her? Because she's just truly thriving. So I want to just keep things, you know, going as it is because we're just down this amazing path of anything's possible for her. And we're not going to put any limitations on her. Uh, we are very thankful for gene therapy and everything it has provided for our family. Uh, a lot of comfort it has provided to our family. And we're also very thankful for all the doctors at Norton Children's who have helped our family and helped us guide us through this process and all the support that they have given us over the last couple of years.